Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right let's customize your meter inside audacity so first things first come up here to the very end of your meter this is the one that you're gonna this is your playback meter this is your monitor meter this is the meter that you'll see as you record your audio you'll see your audio jumping up and down so you can decide to use this or not totally up to you but this is the meter that i always use because i just go into my booth and record and then come out and edit so everything i'm recording in my booth i just set my levels out in my control room go into the booth and just start recording knowing that my levels are set pretty well and then I come out and that's when I edit and I watch the levels on this meter. So first things first, go to the very end until you see the double left and right arrow and then left click and hold down and drag this all the way to the end like you see right there. Okay, and now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to edit and if you're on a Mac, you'll go to audacity but everything else is the same. You're gonna to go to preferences and then you're gonna to go to interface right here. And then you're gonna to go to meter DB range. And by default, this is set to negative 60 DB. I want you to move this to negative 96 and then click okay. And then now you can see all of these numbers are separated much, much more than they were before. This is going to allow you to set your levels more easily and also find your specific noise floor more easily because before it wouldn't go below negative 60, but now it does. So it's going to be much easier for you to find where your noise floor actually is. 